this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video I'm going to be joined as Lee Bear, who just couldn't wait to come and say hello to me today. <laughs> I'm also going to be joined by Esther and Squishy Quack. Hello Squishy, good morning to you, and um, can I have my, um, can I have my cake please? Please, Lee Bear. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. I probably shouldn't ask, but uh, can I please have my my cake? Don't mind if I do. How did you know, Lee Bear? How did you know? <gasps> nom 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 nom. And there's an absolute tiny bit left. Let's see if I can get hungry enough to get that last bit. Run around. <laughs> Come on. Gotta, gotta get hungry. Gotta get hungry to eat the cake. Gotta get hungry to eat the cake. Oh, I can see it going. Oh, there we go. I'm a little bit hungrier. Mm, there we go. <laughs> the whole cake down. I don't feel like I've started the day properly until I have eaten an entire cake. Half a cake just does not cut it. <laughs> anyway, let's now go and uh, head over to the, the love garden to announce who it is that I am adding to it today. And uh, that person is... Uh, Cheyenne and I'm adding Cheyenne because uh, she sent me this drawing of a seashell that she painted to have my face on it and uh, I think it looks so cool and uh, I always love it uh, when people do really original and creative things and I've never seen this before and I thought it was so cool I wanted to say uh, thank you very much for doing it and sending me the picture and welcome to my love garden right uh, let's go and uh, decide which uh, doggy companion uh, we're having for the uh, the video and uh, then I'm going to explain exactly what it is we're going to be doing and I've got good news for you we are playing a brand new mini game so I know you always enjoy these and uh, we enjoy playing them as well so it's a win-win in my book <laughs> and uh, I am going to be joined for this let's be joined by Barnaby today Barnaby where are you boy you can always tell it's Barnaby because uh, he has his famous red collar uh, are you Barnaby it's hard to, to tell from behind you know when you think that you recognize someone and uh, you see them from behind then you run up to them and then they turn around and it's someone completely different uh, isn't that really embarrassing but it's not it is Barnaby it is the, the dog that I expected. <laughs> I've been with Barnaby for so long now, I can even recognize him from behind. Anyway, whoa! Hello, Squishy! What are you doing sneaking around the front of the doghouse there? <laughs> right, let's go and uh, head over to the, the new mini game then. Uh, it's a game that I made up, and uh, it's based around my uh, new barber shop, my bar bar barbers. And uh, the reason it's uh, themed around it is because it's uh, to do with dying sheep and uh, shearing them or giving them haircuts, <laughs> as uh, I'm going to be calling it. And uh, yeah, so it's called Sheep Scramble, and the idea of the game is that all of the sheep have been scrambled. Uh, you want to try and get the right coloured sheep in the right pen, but because they've got some brand new haircut and their wool uh, is really short, you can't actually see uh, what colour sheep they are. And so what's going to happen is we're going to bring all of these sheep into the middle of a pen and uh, we're going to shear them and then the person playing needs to try and remember which colour which sheep is even though they can't see and then they then have uh, three minutes to try and arrange them and uh, it will make sense uh, in uh, just one second. And as you can see, Lee Bear uh, looks like he wants to go first. Uh, he's there trying to, to memorise uh, all of the uh, the sheep. Uh, so yeah, this is, the, this is the playing field. So all of the sheep are going to be let loose into the middle and Lee Bear has to try and arrange them as best as he can in a, in three minutes. So uh, I'll do all of the uh, the shearing and everything, Lee. Or all you need to do is wait for me to get set up. So the first thing is I need to try and get all of the, the sheep uh, out of their pen. So they were all nicely organised. And uh, hopefully, if Lee Bear does well, uh, they're going to be all nicely organised uh, at the, the end of the, uh, the video as well. So come on, sheep. Come on, follow me. Come on, follow me. Come on, everyone follow me. The problem, of course, with sheep is they sometimes follow you and sometimes they don't. So I think one of the... The, the best tactics uh, is to uh, to nudge the sheep, but you're not allowed to hit them. You're not uh, allowed uh, to punch uh, any of the uh, the sheep. And uh, I think they all seem uh, pretty uh, nicely scrambled all over the place now, Lee. Uh, most of them are, are outside of their, their pens, at least anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go and start shearing. And uh, don't start uh, until I say go, though, Lee Bear, because I'm going to go and start the timer. So uh, you need to start memorising, and I'm going to begin the shearing. So let's go and snip, 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 snip. Go and give all of these sheep haircuts. Snip, snip. Snip, 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 snip. Is that all of them? Nope. Uh, there's one more down here, which I need to go snip like that. And Lee Bear, your time starts now. You now have uh, three minutes on the clock uh, to try and arrange all of these sheep and get them back into their original pens. And while he does that, 
I can go up to uh, this little viewing perch up here uh, where I can see all of the uh, the action from above. And this game uh, is much harder than it seems. And uh, you're probably going to see that uh, in a minute uh, when I go and uh, have my attempt. Because as you can see, it's very hard to organize the sheep when you have no idea what color they are. Uh, but of course, once they get to where the grass is, uh, when they eat the grass, uh, their wool will grow back. So it's uh, kind of a good tactic uh, to try and bring some of the, uh, the sheep into a pen and uh, hope that they eat the grass. And Lee Bear, no punching. I said the rule, no punching the sheep. Naughty, naughty. I saw that. <laughs> and uh, once he's got them into the pen, uh, he can pull the lever and uh, then trap them in. And uh, he's already uh, almost lost one minute already. And there seems to be uh, them. They, they seem to be quite nicely organised in the pens, but we have no idea what colours they are. And oh look, one of the uh, one of the yellow ones wool has grown back. So at least Lee Bear uh, definitely knows that that one is the yellow one. Uh, he just wants to be very careful and uh, make sure it doesn't wander off and go to another pen. There we go. He's got two into the blue pen, uh, but we don't know quite yet. Uh, whether they are two blue sheep. Uh, I guess Lee's going to have to hope they are. And whoa, they are all heading over here to the red pen. They all love the red pen. That seems to be where they all want to go. And uh, I think Lee Bear is pretty certain uh, that this one's a red sheep as well. Oh no, I think it's a yellow sheep. And oh look, one of the, the blue one uh, has had uh, a little bit of grass and uh, has just grown. So uh, as if uh, Lee Bear gets that uh, yellow one back in, uh, at least he knows he will definitely get uh, at least two points. So there's a maximum point. Uh, is uh, Eight is uh, the best you could do uh, because there's of course eight sheep. And uh, you need to make sure they're locked in the pen though, Lee Bear. That, that yellow one's wandering off. You can use your, your wheat as well, remember, Lee Bear, if you want to try moving them all, uh, but it might just get a, a little bit confusing uh, with them all following you. There we go. He's decided to use his wool, uh, but as you can see, uh, because they all follow you, uh, it can get a, a little bit confusing. But there we go. He's able to get the yellow one, so he's got a guaranteed uh, at least two points, but he is starting to, to run out of time now. Uh, you've got one minute left on the clock, Lee Bear. There's one minute left uh, to try and organize all of the other sheep, and I think he's doing pretty well here. He's got uh, two sheep locked into the, the red pen. We don't quite know yet uh, whether they're red sheep or not. Uh, but yeah, he's going to find out pretty soon as they're probably going to start uh, eating some of the uh, the grass. But there's still uh, one sheep uh, that he hasn't put away in uh, any of the pens yet. But he's doing uh, a good job uh, bringing it over now. He seems pretty confident. Uh, he seems pretty confident uh, that he's uh, organized them all in. And uh, so once he locks that pen up. So are you finished, Lee Bear? Are you done? Do you want me to, to stop the time early? Uh, or do you want to wait for a little bit? Okay, there we go. He had uh, 20 spare seconds left anyway. Uh, but he seems to, to think uh, that he has finished. But of course, uh, the only way we're going to find out for sure if he's finished uh, is uh, once all of the sheep uh, have eaten some of the, the grass and had their wool grow back. That's uh, so what we're going to do. And I'm going to speed ahead in the video uh, until the, uh, the sheep have uh, eaten some more grass and uh, grown back their wool. Okay, there we go. All of the uh, the sheep have their woolly coats all fully regrown, and uh, now we can count up Lee Bear's score. So he seems to be very proud of his yellow sheep because he got them straight in. So he got uh, two points there. Uh, sadly, uh, there's green ones in the, the red pen, so no points there. Uh, the green pen, there is a, a blue and a red one, so no points there either. Uh, but on the blue one, uh, he got a blue sheep, uh, a blue sheep, <laughs> a blue sheep uh, inside of that pen. So uh, that is three points in total, which is certainly not a bad score seeing how difficult this game is. So uh, over here, we have some signs. So I'm going to put up here a uh, Lee Bear's score of three. So that is the uh, the score to beat. So now uh, me and Squashy have the pressure uh, to try and do as good as Lee Bear or better. So uh, where is Squashy? Are you are you ready? She's already in the middle. Uh, it might uh, be a good idea to, to go to, to sleep first because the uh, the sun uh, is uh, starting to, to go down. Uh, so if we all go to, to Betty Buys first uh, and then we can go and play. I might actually uh, just let all of the, uh, the the, uh, the sheep roam for a little bit in the night uh, so then hopefully some of them are going to start uh, walking to the middle. Oh, no, don't walk out. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here, you naughty green sheep. You come back here right now and you get back in the pen. No wandering sheep. Thank you. Come on. Come on, don't just look at me. Come in. There we go. <laughs> they tried to, to make an escape. So yeah, here I go. I've got uh, three beds uh, sitting down here. Uh, so we can now go to Betty Buys. And then in the morning, Squashy can have her go. Then uh, I'm going to be going last and uh, seeing if I can uh, beat whatever scores they get. So uh, Barnaby, you can come and join me. And what does this... What does this say down here? Do not eat. Oh, that's mean. Oh, that's a tease. Who did that? That must have been Squashy. Squashy, that is that is harsh. That is difficult. That is difficult to leave it lying out there and not allow me to, to eat it. <laughs> anyway, let's... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Escaping. No escaping. Right. Let me go and try and get 
as many of the uh, the sheep uh, into the middle as we can and uh, Elisa scramble them all up over the place there we go they seem to be following me are you gonna follow me red sheep yes you are there we go we seem to be uh, getting them most uh, most of them into the middle and uh, are you ready squishy are you ready to begin your round so I'm gonna get my shears out now and I'm gonna start snipping them uh, don't start arranging them yet uh, because I haven't started the time. We just need to wait uh, until I've given all of these sheep their lovely brand new haircuts <laughs> by snipping this all away. And you can now begin. Your timer has started. So I'm going to get out of here and uh, give Squashy some room. And look, it looks like they are all following her. She's gone for the tactic uh, of using the wheat, uh, which is good because you can move lots of them very quickly. Uh, but the problem is uh, it's a little bit difficult because uh, you're moving all of them. Uh, it's hard to, to keep track. And uh, I don't know if she's doing a better job than me keeping track. But I have immediately lost <laughs> which colour uh, all of the, the sheeps are. And Barnaby's doing a little bit of a dance there. Very nice moves there, Barnaby. Oh, you might want to get out the way there, though, because <laughs> that fence is about to go up. I might actually stand here and try and block that sheep from walking off. There we go. Uh, I guess, Barnaby, you can um you can help out Squashy. You can be a, a sheepdog and you can go and uh, try and help them, uh, help guide them. And it looks like Squishy's doing a, a mixture of doing the, the tactic uh, where you uh, hold the wheat and have them all going around and also nudging them uh, at the, the same time as well. So Barnaby, if you sit down there, I'm going to go back up to my little tower up here uh, so I can watch over all of the, the action and uh, see what Squishy's doing. Uh, she seems to be trying just to get them in any pens for now uh, very quickly and uh, hoping that some of them are going to start uh, eating the, the grass and uh, growing their, their wool back. And by the looks of it, one already has. And oh, <laughs> Lee Bear's got his own perch over there. Hello, Lee Bear. Hello. It's a very exciting game, isn't it? Are you enjoying the game of Sheep Scramble? It's a good game this year, isn't it? I've been enthralled by the tournament so far. <laughs> oh, it looks like uh, oh, Squishy's got uh, two into, no, three into the red pen, but one of them is a yellow one. Oh no, they're all going wrong. Oh, there we go. She's got a guaranteed green one in here, but she wants to be careful because that green one's going to be trying to escape. Squishy needs to try and get the other ones out, uh, but keeping the, the green one in there, and that blue one seems to be doing a, a little bit of a, a boogie down there. At least uh, a lot of the have uh, grown their wool back and so now she can start organizing them properly remember she only needs to get three of them in the right pen uh, to be at least drawing with Lee so it's certainly uh, not a uh, impossible task and there we go she's definitely got the green one in the pen and uh, she thinks that the other naked sheep there uh, is also a green one and she's trying to get that in there we go a nice little gentle nudge from her beak a little peck <laughs> just to, to knock that sheep down uh, so she's got two in the red one uh, that she thinks are, are red and uh, she's trying to get the blue one over here and then if she can get that yellow one into the pen uh, she's guaranteed got at least three points it's a very good go but she is running out of time she's got under 40 seconds uh, left to try and get all of the the sheep in but I guess once she gets the uh, the yellow one in uh, she's going to be uh, able to have a guaranteed three points but then again she's got to get it in yet sometimes uh, the sheep can be hard to tame and there we go she's got it in but one of them's escaped one of them has gone and wandered off there's only one uh, in the uh, the blue pen so uh, this other sheep uh, she is assuming is going to be blue but she's only got 15 seconds left and she needs to get it inside is she going to be able to, to pull the lever and shut it off and she has done uh, so there we go she's only got a, a, a few seconds left so are you are you happy with your sheep selection squishy are you feeling confident uh, that you're going to be able to to get the sheep in the right place and oh i can see one uh, one red one's popped up there already <laughs> so what i'm going to do is the exact same thing i did uh, for lee bear i'm going to speed up time a little bit uh, until all of the uh, the sheep have regrown their wool and we can see how many points uh, squishy was able to get Okay, here we go. All of the uh, sheep have uh, regrown their woolly jumpers. Uh, so now let's go and add up Squishy's points. So remember, the score she's trying to beat is three. So let's start with the, the yellow pen. Uh, there is one sheep in there, so she got one point there. And uh, in the red pen, she got no red sheep in there. Uh, so sadly, no uh, points for there. And then in the, the green side, there's one green one and uh, one red one as well. Hello, Lee, jumping up and down. Uh, so yeah, you got one point for there. And then one point on the, the blue side as well, which means you got one, two, three. You got the exact same score as Lee Bear. <laughs> oh, what are the, the chances of that? So uh, I need to go down and uh, mark it uh, on the, the scoreboard. So this is a uh, Squishy's uh, little pillar here. And so I need to go and mark down three. So it looks like three is definitely the score to beat. So I want to make sure I get at least three uh, because I want to draw. I don't want to become last, but hopefully, possibly uh, even do uh, better than that. So uh, yeah, let's go and uh, try and get all of the uh, the sheep back to the uh, the middle. Uh, it's uh, almost uh, an entire another day gone as well. Uh, so we probably should uh, go to sleep as well, uh, just so that there's only sheep in the game and uh, no googlies as well. And 
don't mix them up too much, Lieber. You don't need to mix them up that much. Maybe just mix them up a little bit. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, so yeah, once we go to bed in the morning, I need to, to have my go. So I'm not going to try and draw. I am going to try and win because uh, even if I fail trying to win, uh, at least I failed trying to, to do my best. And at least I'm succeeding in not eating the cake. This is like a, an endurance test for me. This is a improving my character, this is, by forcing myself not to eat the cake. It is a little less appetizing now. Squashy has jumped up and down on it, to be fair. <laughs> Especially she's been running around in the, uh, the sheep pen all day. Right, am I allowed to eat any of the cakes? Because there was that one I couldn't eat, but there's two more now. So surely I can eat just one of the cakes. Oh no, this is mean. Oh, this is so mean. <laughs> Why couldn't you put down a row of carrots or something down there? I could I could resist eating the carrots, I promise. <laughs> uh, anyway, Barnaby, you can stand up because you can uh, join me on my go and uh, maybe uh, help me out uh, shepherding uh, around uh, a few of the uh, the sheep. I can see one over there dancing uh, already. And uh, Lee Bear is going to do what I did. Uh, he's going to bring all of the, the sheep in the middle and uh, then shear them. I'm going to start the time and I'm going to see uh, if I'm going to be able to, to beat Squishy or Lee Bear's scores. And here we go. Uh, it is now night time as we can go and uh, very quickly get to sleep and then do the final game of Sheep Scramble. And uh, I haven't actually mentioned uh, why we're playing this. The winner is going to be the employee of the month at my Bar Bar Barbers. So it's uh, going to be a very prestigious prize <laughs> if we are able to, yeah, whoever is able to win. All right, so all I need to do is remember four of them. I don't need to remember any more than four. So as long as I can uh, get four definitely right, uh, then I should be okay. So I think I'm going to try and remember these two green ones and those two yellow ones there. If I remember where they are, uh, then hopefully uh, I'm going to be able to, to do okay. So you can start shearing them uh, whenever you want, Lee Bear, and uh, then I'm going to go and try and get them into the pen. So I'm not allowed to, to do it until he's uh, been able to, to shear them all. So I need to wait for Lee Bear to carry on going, and I'm already uh, starting to... To, to lose track and uh, has he been able to shear them all yet there's the last one there I think so I'm gonna go and uh, start the timer so I think that uh, these ones are yellow and green ones so let me just go I think there were two yellow ones here and uh, a green one uh, but I'm not sure which ones were which so let's get them three in here and this one I think was a different color so let's get that one outside and no 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 you guys come back in here you guys come back in here oh no they've stopped following me now they've stopped following me. you can go in and you sir uh, you can uh, come in here as well let me go and nudge this one in that's it help me out Barnaby help me out keep sliding them around and let me just lock all of these ones in for now then because they're gonna go and try running away no no that one's running away I think this is one of the ones that needs to be in here come on you come back you come back over here and get in the pen so there we go I think that should be at least a guaranteed two points I'm pretty sure uh, one of them's yellow and I think this one is red that one dancing I think that one's red so let me go and get these two out of here and try and leave uh, the dancing one inside actually let's just leave them all in there for now and I think this one's red let's see eat yes there we go I guess that one Right, so that one uh, is in the, the right pen, and I don't know if that one's green or not. Uh, so I think there's just uh, two in here, uh, which shouldn't be the, the right colours, and I need to bring over to the blue side. The problem is, uh, I just don't know which ones they are. In fact, I think that this one uh, is the only red one. Uh, so let me try and get the, the other two out of here, and uh, I'm just going to put them in any old other random pen for now, and uh, just leave this uh, red one in place, and then that way I've at least got a, a chance of getting them right. So let me go and move these two uh, into the uh, the blue one. I'm pretty sure uh, that at least one of these uh, is blue. And oh look, I can see a green one on the the other side there. There's a green one uh, over here. So I want to try, if I can, uh, to move just this uh, green one across, uh, across which is uh, very difficult. If I just get it outside the pen and then get the other one back inside, you stay inside, you stay inside. If I bring the, the fence up and then just go bonk and just knock it down, there we go. I was able to, to get it in. So let's go and uh, bring this green one and uh, go and put it down inside of uh, this pen here. And uh, you can go there. And I think this one might be uh, either a blue or a red one. So let me go and uh, take this one. And let me just move all of these over to the uh, the blue pen. And then I should have a, a pretty good chance of at least getting some of them right. So this green one can go in. I tell you, let's go and leave that other green one in there as well. No, no, that green one got out. This green one is refusing to play ball. Come on, I, I know this is a guaranteed uh, green one. So let's go and uh, get that one in there and uh, lock it in. Uh, so I now should have almost definitely at least three points. So I should be at least definitely drawing. And uh, there's a chance that if I get lucky, I might win. And oh, look, this is a blue one. This is a blue one. Right, blue one. You need to you need to follow me. Come on, blue one. Please follow me. Please follow me. Come on, please follow me. There we go. But I want to keep the green one in. If I shut the gate now. And no, no, the green one got out. The green one got out. Oh, no, this is disastrous. This is disastrous. I've only got 25 seconds left. I need to get that green one back in. Can I nudge him in? There we go. I was able to get him in. But can I get the blue one in? I've only got a few seconds left. And it's not following my week. Come on, please follow me. 
I got tasty wheat. Come on, I've only got 10 seconds left. Yes, it's following me. Yes, it's following me. Come on, follow me. Please follow me. Get inside of the pen. And then I need to shut the lever. And it is in. So there's three in there. So I know one of them uh, is in the, the wrong pen. Uh, but I know that one is definitely right. And my time is now up. My three minutes has gone. That was intense. That was absolutely intense. And let me go and uh, pick up Barnaby. You are not a sheep, so you do not belong in here. So I know I definitely haven't got all of them right. Because there's only one sheep in there. And there's only one sheep in there and there's three in the, uh, the other two. But I think I've actually got a, uh, a pretty decent chance uh, of being able to, to maybe get more than three. But all I need to do now is uh, have the, uh, the tense moment uh, of trying to, to watch the sheep uh, all growing their, their wool back and uh, seeing if I was uh, able to win. So I'm going to go and uh, climb back up my viewing tower. And oh no, not another cake. Can I eat this cake? Am I allowed to eat this one? Uh, yay! There we go. Here's a cake that I can actually eat. I'm not even hungry right now. Maybe, tell you what, if I win, if I win, am I allowed to eat the cakes? Can that be a rule? There we go. That can be my prize. <laughs> right, so let's go and uh, speed up time as we watch the, uh, the sheep eating the, uh, the grass and growing back their wool. Well, I must say that I am rather impressed with myself, to be honest. <laughs> um, even though all of the, the wool uh, hasn't grown back. Oh, look, there's some more going there. Through the process of elimination, I know that that sheep down there uh, must have green wool because there's only one green sheep there. Uh, so even though we can't see it yet, we probably will in a minute. Uh, that is a, a green sheep. But overall, I think I've done pretty well. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go and uh, count up uh, my score. You can come and uh, join me, Barnaby. And uh, let's see uh, how many I got uh, inside of each pen. So so I got one here, so that's one point. And then I got another point from here, that's two points. And then two points from here as well, so that's four points. And then another one here from the, the yellow one, which means I got a total of five points. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's only uh, three of them that were out of place, which means uh, I can go over here and I can go and place down a sign saying that Stampy Cat was able to score five sheep in the, the right pens. There we go. That was a, a really good fun game. <laughs> and uh, well done Squishy and Lee as well, because uh, to be fair, you did have it harder because you had to go first and it is a, a brand new game but you both did really well and trust me if you don't believe how hard this game is uh, play it for yourself and see just how confusing it is trying to remember what color a sheep is uh, when there's a whole big flock of them just walking at you it is almost impossible but really uh, good fun so hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching us playing sheep scramble but there is one more final thing that we need to do we need to go and do the the grand honor we need to go and put up a sign uh, inside of my bar bar barbers saying that I am the employee of the month a most prestigious award. <laughs> so where shall I, where shall I have my sign? And all actually, we're going to have to have two signs because we need one sign on this wall and then we need one sign on the uh, the other wall there as well. So Lee Bear, do you want to uh, once again be my reflection? And uh, you can go and uh, head over to the uh, <laughs> to the, the other side and uh, you can go and uh, try and add the, the sign on that side. We need to do it at the, the same time so you're being my, uh, being my reflection again. And if you haven't seen this place, uh, this is supposed to be my mirror. Uh, this is basically the room mirrored and uh, Lee Bear is being my reflection so I've got my sign out I'm then going to go and sidestep uh, going along the, the mirror until I get to the, the wall on the side over here. <laughs> There's no squishy quack on your side, but there is on my side. And I think I'm going to put the, the sign up here. So I just need to say employee of the month, uh, Stampy Cat. That is my reward uh, for uh, winning the game. And I say uh, employee of the month, uh, but I never actually change these. So I'm basically the employee of the month every month. So I might as well say employee of all time. <laughs> employee of uh, the month, then me, Stampy of the month and uh, then I'm gonna go and uh, write uh, Stampy Cat. Hopefully uh, I've spelled all of this right. Uh, judging by my track record I probably haven't spelled it all right because yeah I normally spell things wrong in signs. <laughs> it's one of my bad habits. And oh look I spelled Stampy wrong. <laughs> Can't even spell my own name, uh, own name right. Stampy Cat. There we go. Uh, let's see uh, how well my reflection is doing. Has my reflection finished? No, my reflection seems to be lagging uh, a little bit behind. <laughs> oh dear, it doesn't matter go, uh, though. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that was a uh, Sheep Scramble. Uh, hopefully uh, you all enjoyed uh, seeing us playing this uh, little one-off minigame. Uh, it was very good fun to play. And I say a big thank you to uh, Squishy Quack and uh, my reflection Lee Bear uh, for joining me in the video. Uh, as always, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the next episode of my lovely world Let's Play, uh, which will be online very soon. But for now, I want to thank Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!